Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of Baz the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike Dan. Another foin looking bottle here. What are we about to open? Um, Mike, we have a beer from the brewery. The brewery. The brewery. <laughs> Tarot. Oh. Uh, they're out of Placentia, California. And I believe they have a sister place in D.C. I don't know if it's still open. I think we're making whatever. up the sister place every time. Yeah, probably. Uh, anyways, this is uh, Oregon. got this part of the Reserve Society last year. The Reserve Society Select, I think it was. Ah. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of these giant bottles of like 500% ABV beers. Ooh, uh, so this is beer. the Brewery Tarot. This, this is their Rum Barrel Age Tart of Darkness, which is a sour this stout, beer. sour stout oh, aged in rum barrels. Oh, uh, rum. Yeah. So they usually put a bottle on date. There's got to be one. Some, yeah, there's so much in uh, This is 9.7 ABV. That's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I feel like that thing should be like 20. <laughs> uh, this version of Tart of Darkness spent its first year in Black Tuesday barrels before aging its last year in rum barrels. Okay, so that's, your stout. that's pretty banging, dude. The Black Tuesday is really good. So yeah, no... It must have wore off because I they, they stamp all their bottles. Yeah, they're pretty good about that. Uh, so either uh, way, yeah. What, so what's that saying there? The 2018. Yeah, it says Family Rue 2018. It might be 2018 because yeah, they're they're aged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, the brewery. Oh geez, I guess it is nice and cold. Ideal serving temp 45. Okay, that works. All right, we're good. Um, so yeah, the brewery. Uh, we checked them out uh, a long time ago. Beer to mm -hmm. Long story, even longer. The Little brewery contacted us. Said, "Hey, have you seen our Reserve Society? We'd love to send you some beers. Uh, check us out. Let us know what you think, and uh, talk about the Reserve Society." I immediately said no. It sounds <laughs> sketchy. So we liked it. Uh, they gave us some links. So if the link is still active, we'll put it down below. But anyways, you click the link. Whatever you buy. We get a kind of a kickback on it, and uh, yeah, I smell that. Support the channel already. Uh, well, so uh, Kyle over at Nerd Sense has done this. Who? Where? Um, or Kyle over at No Hype Beer Reviews uh, and Nerd Sense has done that. <laughs> uh, Sean and Mike, so, they're all one entity at this. They point. are at this point, blobbing around. Ah, drink this beer. You know, this, th those guys are probably thinking we're we're the same with Joe. You know, we're the same. I'll never be able to wash that taste out of my mouth. It's like we're all friends, but there's like two separate entities. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> like, we get invited to Joe's birthday party, but not theirs. And it's the same. And, you know. Yeah, that is how it works. It is. It? it is. Yeah. It's like a weird dividing yes. line. Between, anyway. What's the divider? <laughs> What's there? going on? It's Mike, isn't it? I know. We're just a terrible people. Uh, that is... The Heart of Darkness, right there. It is. Uh, it's black, but it's a very rich, like, root beer. So, dude, the head brown. is just like, it just disappears. Yeah. But when you when you swirl it up, it's a nice little brown. Yeah, but, like, I'm watching it, and it's but, just, like, it's dividing from the center. It doesn't want to hang around. Well, like, look at it. it. The, the first time it did. Yeah, but watch. It look just, at it go. It's slowly fading, it's, and it's moving. Yeah. I don't know. It's we'll freaking it trippy, man. Whew. That's sour. It's so weird. I don't think I've ever had a sour stout. No, I don't think so either. That, we didn't even mention that. Like sour stout. That what is like a farmhouse stout? <laughs> We're making stouts out. Burn! Check out our wild ale stout. <sighs> okay, the the aroma is getting more pleasant. I don't like it. I don't like the. It's a. It's Jedi mind tricks in my head. Like, I, was, I see this thing, I'm like, oh, it's going to be stouty. It's very odd, because it does have that, like, sour kind of farmhouse aroma, but there's a roastiness way oh, in the Oh, yeah, right. I'm getting, like, a faint cigar smoke. Okay. It's a very, it's an odd aroma. It's not normal. Not getting, like, any spicy rum. Oh, that's... Okay, yeah, me neither. There's some, man, there's something. Yeah. There, there's a sourness in there. And Here, you want to just Yeah, dive let's in dive in. Little... Cheers. Oh, 
That's so strange. Whoa. It's dark. I think I remember maybe watching Nerd Senses video on this. I think I did too. No, heartburn right away. Whoa. All right, super tart. Um, fruity. It, it's definitely fruity, uh, bright kind of berry fruit, uh, but the, the sourness and tart like overtakes everything. That lactic acid is just saying, move out of the way. I'm here for, um, I'm here to stay. Yeah, it, it, there's a, there's a candied sugar to it, like a pixie sticks, um, mm -hmm. any chalky, like Smarties, any chalky sugary candy like that. Yeah, like Sour Patch Kids mm -hmm. kind of thing. Whoa. Imagine did the Sour Patch treatment mm -hmm. to... Like a, a, a semi-sweet, like, chocolate chip. That's a good pull. I like that. You know what I mean? Um, I think the sour is far more abundant you know, than the Maybe sour. some of the, like, brown candied sugar thing is coming from the rum barrel a little bit. Although, the barrel presence, the sour just takes over for it me. It does. Everything. Like, barrel presence, stout presence is, for me at least, almost non-existent at this point. It's all sour farmhousey kind of beer i feel like if you like this thing is crushing my if you like too. wild ales and sours and stuff <sighs> yeah this is different though there's something off-putting in there that, that i can't put my finger on but i don't like it's like two combos that like you just never thought sour stout you know or at least we haven't had on the channel that much there's something in there that I don't care for. It's like an aftertaste. I don't know what it is. Because I don't know how to describe things. Yeah, I don't care for this. Hot dogs comes to mind. Hot dogs? I don't know why, but it just... <laughs> Hot dogs? Yeah. Look at the very background. What like a like a boiled like a bad hot dog <laughs> like <a> boiled hot <laughs> wow bro hot dogs this is the moment anyone that even mildly respected <laughs> us just stops no one no one respects us get out of here uh oh know. yeah those not facts guys what a bunch of weirdos <laughs> a bunch of idiots <laughs> I don't care for this it's not for me. I dare you. I dare you just to like. <laughs> what? I, I just can't wait. I don't know. Years from now. Obscure conversation. Oh, you ever had that uh, Tart of Darkness? That's an interesting beer. And you're just like, <laughs> you just like come into the group that's talking. You're just like hot dogs. Boiled hot dogs. Oscar Mayer Wiener. I don't know why that popped into my head. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not a fan. For what they say it is, it's almost there. I don't. I, where's the rum barrel though for me? I still. Where's the rum? And there is a hint of stout in there for me, but it's. I want more balance. Yeah, I think. I think I liked your pull of the uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. I like that. There is some. Uh, there's some dark cherry that I, I, I'm probably pulling from a rum barrel. I don't know. The, the sour and tart is so abundant. I would like a lot more balance from this. A little bit of Wonder Bar Bologna. That's made from boiled hot dogs. Yeah, it's weird. I got to... I got to look up if... Uh, Kyle from Nerd Sensor, Mike and Sean from No Hype did this beer and what they thought of it. <laughs> well, you've been watching uh, Dan and Mike on the Whatever Patrol. This is the briefity. Ah, stretch, stretch, stretch. <laughs> that's, that's, that's over. For it's us over. For today. Yeah. Uh, you want to rate it? Ah, no, I'm good. Uh, yeah, it's it's. It, you know, you know what throws it too? 
is that we drank a brewery wild ale already. Asian gin barrels. And it was fan Oh, yeah. Fantastic. It's really good. So, I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's not doing it for me. It's kind of weird. That Man, the brewery is a weird place. Like, I feel like they either make bangers or it's not good. The brewery is a brewery that <laughs> either your dreams, your living fantasies that you never thought you could imagine to live, <laughs> or your dreams are just getting crushed, <laughs> you know, and you're just like, I, you're you know, questioning I, everything. Uh, you know, you know that like generic fork in the road picture where one is like a rainbow castle of happiness and the other one is a path full of briars and thorns and it's shadows and clouds and you're just like well going one way or the other yep. that's what the brewery is yep pretty <laughs> much the enemy of them uh God. we're so screwed well thanks for watching everybody mm -hmm. we've got links down there uh, yep they can't all be winners nope and you know what? Since we've drank that, I just saw the stamp where they dated it. Oh, hey. Right there. Because you can okay. see it through now. Oh, perfect. What's it was say? so. Um... <laughs> Quad vocals. 10-30-2018. Is that right? Yep. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>